what is going on what is going on welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video and today is going to be the construction and completion of the coal obsidian build a figure from the second infinity war wave and as you can see um i have each figure from the wave lined up in some family portrait pose style looking background just for your guys's you know entertainment details so going from left to right you know after ant man is stored then left to right show you guys exactly what it comes with so with the wasp or yeah with the wasp it comes with the head for coal obsidian for the ant man it comes with the left leg of coal obsidian for the right or for thor thor comes with the right arm or the left arm my apologies left arm of coal obsidian the black knight comes with the left leg or the right leg sorry i'm mixing everything up so let's recap wasp head ant-man oh excuse me ant-man left leg thor left arm black knight right leg malekith right arm and right arm and hammer and then black widow completes it with the torso so um let's do a quick build guide and then i will show you um which figures i want or i rank uh least to greatest all right so i'm gonna show you guys in real time putting them together how much of a beast this guy actually is so there you go pop off pop on his two arms and then let me get his leg his... <clears throat> actually let me get a better view of this there you go pop that on pop on his right leg and then oh god he's such a big character and then we will do his head I can pop that on there there you go and bam there he is so i'm gonna have him crash down a little bit so as you guys can see this guy is a beast he stands taller than what my actual setup is right now i'm working on getting another uh, diorama display so i can have a nicer reviewing station but for now hopefully this will do so as you can see yeah um articulation he's pretty limited so i'm not gonna go too much into it he can only go up his arm that far only because of the um the spikes on his body and then his head actually does have pretty nice articulation it can go up really well down can tilt side to side really nicely has a very nice diaphragm joint that can swivel around and then he can stand on, on his own because I have both hands right there and some people some videos I've seen um, they were like I've never seen the coal obsidian with this weapon because I think he has like a different weapon that can like sh uh, change shape into whatever he wanted but if you watch the beginning of the movie right when Thor and Thanos fight um, when I think his name is Ebony Maw when Ebony Maw is like let him have his fun you can see Cole Obsidian um, holding on to this weapon and I think it's pretty, I pretty it's pretty well made you know it's pretty plain I wish they could have given him something cooler you know no 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 I take that back I take that back because um, this weapon is actually pretty cool so you know i wish they probably could have given me sorry as i was saying you know um maybe yeah maybe we could we could keep that weapon maybe they could have given like an alternate head like a snarling head but you know if you can see him right there he looks menacing all in his own right so um yeah there's nothing really much to say about him except that he is a pretty beastly builder figure and um, he does have like nice articulation, you know, double jointed uh, knees, his feet articulate surprisingly well. Um, his shoulders, not so much, but he does have a bicep swivel that can go so much ways. And then his, um, 
his hands, what's interesting to know about his hands is that it doesn't have the typical like bend and swivel. It only has a bend, so it can only go up and down like that. It, it can't, it does swivel like this, but you can't like tilt it back that way or tilt it forward this way. It can only go side to side. And that's the same for the other hand. So let me see if I can get this dude just chilling in the back somehow. Maybe, maybe, okay, maybe not. So <laughs> moving on, um, let's do a quick rundown of um, the figures in this line and that'll be it. So uh, ranking it from least to greatest, I actually had a pretty, pretty, pretty difficult time um, picking and choosing which figures um, we're gonna make the top and we're gonna make the bottom. So since there's three, um, start off, or since there's six, let's start off with the bottom three first. So unfortunately, my um, least favorite out of this wave, and it's not a knock on this character or this figure per se, that it's bad. It's just that this wave to me personally is so good that I had a hard time picking which one was best. So I had to, you know, it, it was unfortunate circumstances that this person had to be at the bottom and that is going to be uh scarlett johansson aka natasha romanov the black widow and uh the reasons why i chose her to be at the bottom was that i would like her head is amazing don't get me wrong her head sculpt her face is amazing but it's very neutral and it's very limiting to her posing so like if you wanted to have her fighting, she's just gonna have this neutral look on her face. You know, if you wanted to have her blocking, if you wanted to have her do anything, you know, it kind of has, it, it, she's stuck to this one face. And then also I don't like her feet. I, I've never really liked like this type of feet on the female characters. So where it's kind of like a wedge heel on it. And they don't do it for all characters, at least I think, because look at the wasp, her feet are perfectly flat. So, you know, I wish they could have made her feet a little bit more flat. So not a terrible figure at all, but unfortunately someone had to round out the bottom and it's going to be the Black Widow figure from this wave. Next up, although this is a surprising, surprising figure that I thoroughly enjoyed, like I said, it's, it's the wave is really good to me, honestly, but you know, there had to be, you know, certain things that um, my criteria to where, which ones I ranked from, uh, least to greatest. So coming in at number five, unfortunately, which is a surprise to me even, is going to be Malekith. And the only reason why Malekith is at number five is because the other four to me <laughs> are a lot nicer. You know, they're a lot greater than this uh, this figure. Otherwise, he would probably honestly be higher, maybe in some other ways, because he has good articulation, good amount of accessories like this thing like his shoulder pads can come off so it's not really counted as an accessory but you know it's a nice touch that it's removable his sword is is done really well it has like a nice sheen to it his hair and overall sculpt and build in person is a lot better than what i thought it was going to be so due to unfortunate circumstances malachith you are number five so number four it's going to be um Dude, man, this is really difficult because due to unfortunate circumstances, this wave is good. So number three is going to be uh, one of the new uh, one of the newer figures that I acquired is the Wasp, and like I said, flat out one of the reasons why. Actually, there's two reasons. One reason why is because the other three figures are nicer, you know, are nicer to me, which I enjoy more. And the other one is that she can't really, you know, bend forward all that well. She can bend back really well, but not forward all that well but other than that she is a really well done figure you know build sculpt everything you know articulation accessories uh she knocks it out of the park definitely at least um a seven and a half out of ten figure for me from this wave so unfortunately the wasp comes in at number th four so the last three we have is the ant-man Thor Odinson, if you can stand, if I have him, you know, there, Thor Odinson, and the Black 
night. So, um, I don't know how you guys want to predict, but if you guys want to play along, predict which ones I have in, or which one is my third, second, and most favorite. Um, so, if you guys want to play along, I will just pick them out and then show you which guy, which one is my favorite. So coming in, coming in at number three is going to be Paul Rudd, a.k.a. the Ant-Man. Now, he is a really, really good figure. Um, my first version of the MCU Ant-Man, so I can't really compare it to the other ones. But, you know, he is a really, really good figure. Like I said, solid, solid wave. Only reason why is because, one, definitely surprised me more than I thought it was going to be. And two, it's just that I feel like he has a lot more versatility and range. So Ant-Man, probably, it, to give it a reason, it's probably gonna be the lack of accessories. So Ant-Man is number three. Let's set him aside. So number two and number one, who do you guys think it's gonna be? Set him right there. So number two. The reason why I chose this one as number two is not for his lack of accessories, not for his lack of quality because his quality is just amazing. But I feel like the number one has a little bit more versatility and a little bit more uh, uses for him. Actually, no, scratch the uses part because this number two has a lot of good uses for him. So honestly, it could probably be a toss up between my two favorite figures. So number two is going to be the Black Knight. And I know it's surprising. I know a lot of people probably like him the best out of this wave. But I can definitely see why. This was, this, this was, to me at least, came out of nowhere. Everyone was like, oh, the Black Knight's the most wanted figure. And I, at first I thought it was just because he had different head sculpts so you can like army build him. But no, his build is very good. His structure is very nice. You know, he comes with a good amount of accessories. And he's just, he just looks cool. Just look from his chest up. He just looks like a badass. So... Unfortunately, Black Knight, you are going to have to be number two. And my number one pick from this wave is going to be the Thor from uh, the second Infinity War. Well, I guess from the Infinity War movie. Never mind, scratch what I just said. I'm dumb. But yeah, <laughs> uh, my favorite from this wave is going to be the Thor. And let me tell you why. Uh, his build is really nice. You know, I know there's a lot of Thors out there, and that's also another reason why I factored him into number one, is because I've seen posts saying that he has a lot of interchangeable parts. You can interchange his hands, you can interchange his head with a lot of the other Thors are, that are around. So, in theory, you could have, you know, the older Thor with the longer hair, or the Thor with the eye patch with this costume, and, you know, you have the Stormbreaker right there, so you and then you can always interchange it with his hammer, with the sword from Ragnarok. You know, the possibilities are endless if you have multiple Thors. Uh, the only gripe I have it with this Thor, and this is only saying on my personal opinion because I don't have the other Thors, is that there are multiple Thors. There are multiple Thors, and it gives the reason why maybe you don't need this Thor as much, but, you know, that's just my personal opinion reasoning so then like just to recap number six is black widow number five is malekith number four unfortunately is the wasp number three is ant-man number two is black knight and number one is my boy thor odin's son so uh that being said that about rounds it out for the coal obsidian wave you know this is a very 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 good wave in my personal opinion if you guys are interested in trying to complete it i highly suggest that you do you know um i've i've seen it floating around for like some retail places you know floating around for you know other places i was fortunate enough fortunate to get the thor for retail at gamestop the ant-man the wasp and the malekith for retail on amazon i'm pretty sure i could probably got them on retail anyway because those aren't the greatest most popular figures the black knight i lucked out and got him for retail on amazon and the black widow i got her off of the mercari app the selling app, and I got her for almost retail, pretty close. So I'm very happy with what I paid to get this build a figure. So if you guys are able to get him, I highly suggest that you do. He's a def he's definitely a nice addition to the collection. And with that being said, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys like what I'm doing, if you guys like 
um, with this channel, if you guys support it in any way, please follow me, please subscribe, please like, please share. And you know, follow the fig group that I'm in. We are called the Fig Accumulators. I will, I always put the link to our Instagram down below. So if you guys are interested, you know, join the movement, you know, let's support each other and help each other in any way possible. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for all your support and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.